back to the channel. Today is National Chocolate Covered Peanut Day, so I figured I would share with you guys a couple recipes that, <laughs> ah, there's my son. I would like to share with you guys a couple recipes that came to mind when I found out today was National Chocolate Covered Peanut Day. The first one we're going to be doing is a chocolate <laughs> peanut cluster. They're super simple and it doesn't take very much time to make these and they're really yummy. They're the same concept as an actual chocolate covered peanut except you get a whole cluster of them. I'm also going to be showing you how to make some truffles today. Yay, truffles! If you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's go! For our chocolate peanut clusters, it's super simple. It's only three ingredients. I'm using chocolate bark. This will harden faster than a milk chocolate. You're more than welcome to use milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, any kind of other chocolate that you prefer. I just like this one again because it saves some time because this chocolate does not take very long to harden. Uh, we did use a chocolate similar to this on our strawberry cake pops when we dipped our cake pops into it, except we use a vanilla almond bark for those. And you could see in that video how quickly this dries and hardens. So what we're gonna wanna do with this chocolate is I have chopped it up. You know, it's pretty pretty chopped up. So we're gonna pop it into the microwave. We're gonna do a 30 second interval and it should be just about all the way melted by then. And then we're gonna do by 15 second intervals after that until it's completely melted and there's no more chunks. And then we'll be on to the adding our peanuts. Now that our chocolate has melted, we're gonna wanna go ahead and add in our peanuts. Now I normally do about a cup, but if you want more peanuts, you know, that is totally up to you. Sometimes I'll make it more, you know, peanutty than normal. But you want it to have enough peanuts in there to where you make sure you get a peanut in every single one of those chocolate bites. You can see how chunky and lumpy this is. That's kind of how you want it. Like I said, if you want to add more peanuts, you know, the more the merrier. All right, now that that is all mixed up, I'm going to move you over here. You can see that I have these parchment papers laid out. Now, you're just going to want to take some spoons, or you can use a measuring cup too if you'd rather. Mine aren't going to be very big, so you just take it and you lay it out onto your parchment paper. I love the parchment paper because it helps you get it off a little bit easier. It doesn't stick. You don't have to spray it with any sort of non-stick non spray because that's its job. Its, its job is to be non-sticky. All right. You want to try to make sure that they are all about the same size I and mean, they're not going to be perfect. All right, well there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done. Um, like I said, I use the bar chocolate because it helps it harden a little bit quicker. When they are hardened, you don't have to worry about keeping them refrigerated. They will not melt at room temperature. They will continue to stay. It's gonna take probably 10 to 15 minutes for these to harden fully. You'll know when they harden because the chocolate will lose its casein on, uh, it won't be so shiny anymore. And there you go. There is my chocolate peanut clusters. I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do and I want to thank you for watching the channel. If you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel because we do release new weekly recipes every week. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!